Okay folks, today we're going to be doing some water jug testing on uh, what I believe are the two ultimate uh, bullets for the 6.5 Grendel. On the left here we got the 130 grain Swift Sirocco and on the right is the 127 grain Barnes Long Range X Bullet. Uh, we're going to do some testing on them. Uh, first thing we'll do is speed. Second thing we'll line up some water jugs see how they perform um, again I believe these are the two bullets that will maximize uh, your range for the 6.5 Grendel cartridge okay guys so our test rifle today will be a Alexander Arms Hunter 6.5 Grendel 18 inch barrel and I have a quiet break uh, by accuracy systems First up, we got the 130 grain Swift Sirocco loaded with 32 grains of CFE 223. Got 2518. Uh, next up will be the 127 grain Barnes Long Range X bullet loaded with 32 grains of CFE 223 as well. 2548. So we got some decent velocities out of an 18 inch barrel. Um, here's a piece of brass here. No visible pressure signs. Everything looks great. We'll line up the water jugs and see how these bullets perform. Okay, guys, first up. We got the Swift Sirocco again, um, going about 2,500 feet a second. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jugs lined up. I don't think it'll go through all of them, um, so stay tuned. Alright, so it looks like we went through the first three pretty easy. Got the fourth jug here. Let's see what we got. Oh, looks like it went into number five. Let's see what we got for a bullet here. Right, check that out. Got a beautiful mushroom collected out of the fifth jug. We'll see what the weight retention is on it in a little bit, but that's about as good as it gets. Next up, the 127 grain Barnes LRX. Okay, next up, Barnes LRX 127 grain. I uh, gotta hurry, my two and a half gallon jug in the back is leaking. I only had uh, four more, one gallon, so hopefully it doesn't go through. Sorry folks, I didn't catch the bullet on video. I thought I was videoing, but the camera was off. So, made it through the first four into the fifth, just like the Swift Sirocco. Here's the bullet, and my oh my, you're so good looking. Another beautiful mushroom. Uh, let me go back to my house. We'll do a final wait on these bullets, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, here's the two bullets once again. The barns on the left, and the Swift Sirocco on the right. We're gonna go ahead and put these on the scale and we'll see what their weight was. First we'll weigh the Barnes. Original weight 127 grains. We got it set on 125.0. We'll move it here. We'll try 126. And 126. We'll try 126.2. 
All right, we'll call that 126.2. So almost 100% weight retention. Uh, the only weight lost was probably the plastic tip. We'll try the Swiss Sirocco next. Original weight 130. And let's try 126. Nope. Try 125. All right, 125 grains exactly. Overall thoughts on these bullets? I think both of them are excellent for any kind of deer size game hunting situation. Uh, you'd be pushing it for elk, but I think uh, either bullet would probably work. I don't necessarily recommend it. However, uh, my hypothesis that these two bullets were the best for the 6.5 Grindle, obviously you guys can debate, but I believe that both bullets work excellent. As far as BCs go, the Swift Sirocco has a higher ballistic coefficient. Uh, you get slightly flatter trajectories. Uh, velocities are overall the same, but for a hunting bullet out of the 6.5 Grendel, long range applications out to 400 yards, I don't think you can beat either bullet. If there's any bullets that you guys would like to see me test, uh, whether it be out of the Grendel or a 300 Winchester, Please let me know. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.